you're playing in the same city, in the same exact arena. It drives the Laker fans absolutely insane. Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Clippers are breaking ground on their new home. They will create new fans in L.A. that are Clippers fans instead of Lakers fans. How long have you wanted to build this stadium? When I first bought the Clippers, I said, isn't it great? Don't need to build a stadium. Then I buy the team. And it's like, whoa, then it's not our house. This is when, you know, the putting up the pictures of our guys, hiding yeah. banners. So I'd say within a year or so of buying the team, uh, I'm starting to get skeptical. We need our own house. And let's make our house a basketball mecca. Just the best place in the world. We're building a fantastic building because we're trying to communicate. We are a fantastic organization. Our fans need to know that. Our players, free agents. It's an identity thing. Ty Lue had a comment about this in the playoffs. There's a lot of Lakers fans here, but once the Lakers are gone, if we're not playing the Lakers, you should be cheering for the Clippers. What do you do about that? I think for enough years, the Clippers were bad enough. Everybody could just kind of ignore the Clippers. Oh, when things don't go right, they just stay that way. Oh, me! Oh, my! An embarrassing moment. We're good now, and we're going to be good year in and year out. And I think some of the fans uh, on the other side, if you will, it's like, what? You dare? You dare to question our supremacy? No, we, uh, we do. We got our fans. We use our expression, L.A. our way. The other guys feel a little threatened. That's okay. It means we're doing good. You look like you have fun at games. <laughs> Steve Palmer, fired up. Loving every minute of it. What is it going to be like for you at this arena? I do have fun at games. Uh, and I feed off of the energy in the building. And so the more energy, the more fan experience, the more seats that have people in them. Players love fans, so I figured even from our team, to make our team better, more energy in the building is, uh, is a great thing. Your Los Angeles Clippers are heading to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in their franchise history. There was a lot of energy in the building last year. Yes, there was. Western Conference Finals. You came up short, though. We did. Is there a party that wonders what could have happened if Kawhi was there? I have a lot of, you know, woulda, shoulda, woulda been great. You know, we were within a whisker or two of taking care of business in the Western Conference Finals, uh, even without Kawhi. We basically have most of the same team back for next year. I remain optimistic. How do you look at next year knowing that you probably won't have Kawhi for a lot of it? We have a very, very good basketball team, even without Kawhi. We're going to win a lot of games. Uh, obviously, we would be an even better basketball team with Kawhi. But, you know, it's part of the game. Some people will talk about, we're taking a step back or we got an injured year. No, our fans can count on the fact that we are going to try to win as many ball games as we can every year. Do you have a reaction to Kawhi in the Drake video? <laughs> can you do that dance too? I can't do the dance. I was glad to see it. It looked like Kawhi was having a lot of fun. Hopefully, it also said his knees coming along nicely. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been in the video. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.